The film begins with a girl named Anna, who is staying with her sister in F and Josie. Choose me while he speaks. They are talking to me about the importance of art and about her ambitions to open an art gallery of her own. But Ronnie interrupts her and tells her that this art is empty talk and has no future. And the evidence for this is that she graduated from the College of Arts and Works as an employee in an art gallery, and her salary is not enough even if she, she is an apartment renter. She tells him that life in New York is very expensive. This is a problem faced by all young men her age. Ronnie tells her that he does not know how to feel comfortable with his wife, as she is staying at home. He asks her to find another apartment to live in. I get annoyed by what he says, and I apologize to him if it becomes a source of nuisance. For me, he is aware that she will walk close to his house, and then Amal will deliver her work to the art gallery, and on this day they will have an important auction in which they will sell paintings worth 1000000 and at this time, Claire, the director of the gallery, is holding a meeting with the employees and informs them that today is a day. It is very important, and no mistake can happen in it. But she often notices that Anna's clothes have stains on them, so she gets very upset and tells Anna that she cannot close an auction while she is in this situation. He asks her to stand at the entrance gate to receive the guests and distribute the catalogs of paintings to them. After I finish distributing the catalogs, she returns to her desk and continues to complain to her colleague about the difficult life she is living and tells her that she herself is opening her own gallery, but the circumstances are not her assistance. She notices that she and I are leafing through a catalog of paintings, that there is a painting on which it is written, that it is painted in oil, but in fact it is painted in eclair. She realizes that this is a typographical error, so she quickly goes and informs Claire of this, and at this time, Claire, she corrects the information for the guests. Before the auction does not start, and after the auction does not start, Claire's spirit scolds the employee responsible for printing catalogs, Hobie, telling him that I alone wished her 1,000,000, and a mistake like this could cause them to lose a lot of customers. And she tells him that if it wasn't for her, I would have taken care of her. At the time, their exhibition was closed. Of course, I am very proud of herself because this is the first time Claire has praised her in front of the employees. At night, Anna returns home and hears her sister and her sister's husband talking about her as a monster, but she does not care about what they say and sleeps. The next day, she calls Kabir Anna. He is surprised that she chose her to travel with her to London to help her supervise the auction that will take place there. And of course... I do not believe herself. She is happy and asks her about the travel time, so Claire tells her that the plane is still two hours away. So she quickly begins to prepare her bag, and we see that the people in Ferroni are happier than her because she is leaving the house, and they also begin to help her prepare her bag. Then Anna arrives at the airport, and she is surprised that Renee, a professor, will travel with her, and she is the two girls she hates the most at work because they treat her with arrogance because they are in a higher position than her, to the point that they ask Anna to help them and remove their bags, so Anna is forced to hear what they are saying, and then the two girls will be surprised. She will not travel with them on the same plane, and this is because they reserved the last two seats for themselves in business class and reserved for her on the plane next to them, and she will also sit in economy class, and of course I am very annoyed by their behavior, and I feel insulted. The airport employee is monitoring what is happening, so she sympathizes with me and decides to raise morale. She is surprised that she changed the seat she had on the plane and reserved a seat for her in business class because there are a lot of empty seats on the plane. So I am very happy, and she continues to thank her. Then she goes to make excuses at the airport until the plane arrives, or at this time there is a work call from London, so she becomes very nervous, and in spite of her anger, she bumps into a young man and drops juice on him, so she continues to apologize to him profusely, but he doesn't care and leaves her and walks away. After a while, I will board the plane and be very happy. I know business class. She is surprised that the young man sitting next to her is the same one on whom she dropped the juice. So she tries not to pray so as not to worry about her. But the young man thinks of her as soon as he sees her and tells her that he is not upset about what she did. He introduces himself to her and tells her that it is his name, his feast, even if he is the owner of a cup, and marketing companies in the world, and he asks her why she is traveling to London, so she tells him that she works in the field of art, and that she is traveling to London for her work, and then I asks him about the reason for his travel to London, and he tells her that he is traveling to attend his mother's birthday, break that. After a few hours, the plane arrives in London, and Kazra arrives that she receives her son, and she is happy, and then she asks him about Anna. And William tells her that he met her on the plane, so she likes the story of Anna's personality and asks, Where is she going? So I told her that she was going to the hotel, and I offered her a break, and they would drop her off on their way, so I agreed without hesitation. This is because she already has the taxi tree, and on the way, she asks Kasserna about her field of work, so she tells her that she used to make advertisements in the past and was very famous in her youth. He tells her that they are very similar to each other in many things, because they both work in the field. Art, after a few minutes, Anna arrives at the hotel, and William stops her before she enters the hotel and offers her to take her on a tour of the city. So Anna apologizes to him and tells him that she cannot. And this is because she is very busy. 
so she interrupts their conversation and asks for a phone number. I am about to keep in touch with her, so I give her her phone number and thank her for no. Adding her with her, Hope bids her farewell and enters the hotel. Then she realizes that the room is large and is surprised by the shape of the room, because Claire is very classy. It shocks her that she will not stay in this hotel and tells her that she has booked a cheaper hotel for herself. Claire tells her that she is traveling to Rome today and will stay there for a day and will leave her with Renew Suzette so that he can oversee the auction preparations. She shows her a large catalog at all times that will be sold at the auction and asks her to review all the paintings and verify their prices. Then she arrives at Renault Suzette's, and he tells her that there is a staff meeting in one five minutes. He is asking who. No, don't talk in the meeting. In the meeting, we get to know Arnold, the director of the second branch of the gallery in London. Hope surprises them that their melting pot is the land of a collection of profile paintings, which is one of the most important and expensive paintings in the world, and he died. I haven't been at auctions for years. He tells them that the owner of the paintings died a while ago. It's his wife. She's the one who asked for the paintings to be put up for auction. Tell the employees that he will not accept any mistake because the scale will be in it. The most important and richest person in the world, or after this meeting, arrives at her office and is surprised by its appearance because it is old and dilapidated, unlike the office of Renew Suzette. After a while, she sends a voice message. Now he tells her that she forgot her laptop in her car and offers it to her. She is attending her birthday party and comes to get her laptop and after work, she goes to her hotel to get some money. She is a little surprised by the appearance of the hotel because it is very old, and at this time she receives a call from whom? I ask her to tell her about the news of the trip, so I tell her about William Casser, and she tells her that she feels bad conscience because she won over them regarding her work, and she made them understand that she is the director of the art gallery in New York, and this is because she was too embarrassed to tell them. The truth is, after a while, she realizes that it is Kazra's birthday. Anna thanks her for the invitation, and tells her that she will take her laptop and walk so as not to cause her any inconvenience. But Kazra refuses to let her walk, and is determined to let her attend her birthday party. Then William arrives and greets Anna, and introduces her to Julia Mark, a friend of his mother's. So I am surprised that she is standing in front of Julia Marks himself, because he is one of the most famous artists in the world, and she tells him that she loves his artistic works. At this time he comes to pray. I'm from Claire. She tells her that there is an important client of theirs who needs two tickets to a Shakespeare play. She asks her to act and get the tickets in any way she can. She ends the call with her, or she goes to ask Julian if he can help her and get her two tickets to a Shakespeare play. She interrupts their conversation and tells me that the two tickets will be with her tomorrow morning. Then she takes a tour of Kasra and is surprised by the amount of original paintings in her house. Kasra tells her that she has been married three times before and all her husbands were artists. Kasra asks her about the name of the auction house that she supervises, so she decides. No, Anna, her name is Warrants, and she is very surprised. This is because it is the same auction house where her deceased husband's paintings are being displayed. I understand that her husband is the owner of a profile board collection, and Kasar tells her that Claire is responsible for selling her paintings at auction, and she is offering to Anna. She supervises the sale of her paintings in Claire's place, but I refuse on the grounds that she does not want to cause problems with Claire. He then breaks Anna's resolve that if she comes to the opening of her art gallery, which will be held the next day, then Anna agrees and then she bids him farewell or leaves, and the next day William sends a message. Now, he asks her to meet him at the soccer field so she can have two tickets to the concert, and within minutes I arrive at his place and find him training young children to play soccer, so she asks him, is he the one who is not working? William tells her that he likes to train young children to play football before he goes to work. He offers her that they go have lunch together, but she refuses on the grounds that she is busy or that she takes the two tickets from him and walks away. And then she arrives at Claire's and gives her two tickets. So Claire tells her that she is very happy with her diligence and promises her that her promotion will soon come. And at night she will arrive at the opening of Exhibition A. You will see yours. And everything will be fine until Claire, Renee, and Suzette arrive at the exhibition. Of course, I am surprised by their presence and tell Kasser that she has to walk because she is tired from traveling. She quickly runs outside the exhibition before Claire sees her, but William goes after her. He asks her what happened, and she tells him that if she felt a little tired, he offers her that they go and spend their evening somewhere else. She agrees, and he takes her to a dinner when she has the night, and they spend all night drinking and dancing, enjoying their time, and after they finish their evening, he offers her. William is driving her to the hotel. She gets nervous here because she doesn't want to see the old hotel she's staying in, so she makes him drive her to the hotel that Claire is in, and before she enters the hotel, William stops her and confesses his love to her, and she becomes very happy, but at the same time, she's afraid of his reaction. When he learns the truth, he spends a few days, and we see that Liam and I are developing their relationship, and they spend a lot of time together, and one day she asks who chose her and got involved with her. So William tells her that she is different from the other girls, and this is because she is very humble, 
even though she is rich. He had never seen this quality in girls, the song he knew before, so I got nervous talking and tried to change the subject and ask him about his future plans for his work. Then William surprised her that he had decided to move all his work to New York City so that he could be by her side all the time, and after a while she arrived. I filled it in the auction house and it calls, great for her office. She tells her that she is very happy with her hard work and that she is surprised that she will find her soon because she is the only one of the employees who deserves a promotion. And at this time, Ronnie cuts off their talk. Hope shocks them and breaks them. I called and decided to cancel her salute. Of course, Claire and all the employees disagreed with her decision because this auction was very important to them. And in the meantime, William arrived at the auction house, so she quickly took him out and talked outside, and she kept bothering him because he did not tell her that he was coming. He tells her that he wanted to surprise her, and asks why she is so fanatical. She tells him that she is fanatical about his mother's decision, and William tells her that he had nothing to do with her decisions. So I understand him that this auction would have been moved to another place, and that canceling it would cause a lot of losses, so they feel to me from her words that she is related to him because of her interest in the work so he tells her that he will not be able to continue in a relationship based on exploitation, and he leaves her and walks away, and she returns to the auction house again, and she is surprised that her pictures are spread everywhere. Yes. Do you summon her? Claire goes to her office and asks her to explain what is happening. So she confesses to her that she impersonated her because she herself feels that people appreciate her and apologizes to her for what she did. But Claire does not accept her apology and tells her that she is fired from her job. I am deceiving her to give her another chance and promising her that she will correct her mistake. But Claire also doesn't accept his apology. So Anna leaves the auction house exhausted from crying, and then she goes to sit alone in El Hanena and calls at her time and tells her that she was fired from her job and will return to New York tomorrow. Her sister is surprised that they brought a new dog and he takes her place in the house, and she apologizes to Anna that she no longer has a place in the house. She is in the house because the dog took her place. She is very shocked and feels that the world has become her own. She decides to go and confess everything to Kasra and tells her that she is just a simple employee and that her salary is not enough. She even rents a house for herself and apologizes to her because she earned money on her and tells her she was living a life herself. A rich person, even if only for one day, would be surprised by her words and her ceiling. Or she tells her that she is very proud of her because she was able to deceive them. She now admits that she was doing the same thing in the past to achieve what she wants, and she is surprised. Also, she will not cancel the auction or anything, and what she did was just a marketing plan, because when the buyers know that she will cancel the auction, they will be very excited to buy her board at any price. And when she surprises them and tells them that she has changed her mind and will not withdraw from the auction, at that time, the price of the plates will close. I am surprised by her words and ask her about her plan to break the bank, asking her to prepare because she will come with her to the auction house. After a while, Kasrine arrives at the auction house, and Kasrine tells Claire that she has decided not to withdraw from the auction, but on one condition, which is that Anna is the one supervising the sale of her paintings. Of course, Claire agrees to this request, and the day of the auction comes, she buys broken plates, and they are sold at a much higher price than they expected. She would be very proud of herself. After the auction, Anna goes to meet William and apologizes to him for her behavior last time. William knows the truth about my mother. Oh, and he says that he won't be able to hear her, because she deceived him. So I tell him that she won over him so that she could get closer to him because he certainly wouldn't have looked at her if he knew that she was a poor girl. But William tells her that she was wrong, because he, he didn't love her for her money, but he loved her for her piss. Her character, and then Olympian, says goodbye to her and walks off. And after three hours, we see me on the plane, and she is going to New York, and she is very sad because she lost Liam. And six months later, we see me at the opening of his art exhibition, and we know that she has excelled in her work and achieved everything she dreamed of. But she is upset that Leah is not with her that day, and she tells her friend Amy that she tried a lot to communicate with him, but he does not answer her at all. She is trying to make it easy for her. She suggests that they go and continue their excitement in another place after the exhibition. But I apologize for her because she is tired and after work. Well, when it ends, I am surprised that William arrived with a suitcase, so I am happy and ask him what he is coming to do. He tells her that he could not leave her on the most important day of her life and the two get closer to each other, and then she takes his new apartment, and he lives worse in it, and the movie ends.